Joe, yeah. can you come take a picture, please? What's going on, guys? This is Justin Boone, owner and artist of David and Goliath. Just wanted to come to you guys and kind of give you some insight about the brand, uh, talk a little bit about what the brand is, what we stand for. So, you know, getting into brand identity, why we are here and how we got here. I think those are common questions that a lot of people kind of ask, whether it be through DM or um, personally when they are talking to me about my brand and, and how it came about. So I just wanted to use this video to kind of tackle some of that. Um, and without further ado, we'll get going. So those of you that are or are not familiar with the brand, uh, David and Goliath is the name of my clothing line. Um, it was created in 2019. That's when I formulated the collection. But David and Goliath is an idea that I've had in my mind for quite some time. God given, God ordained. This is something that I was blessed with. Nothing that I really had any expertise or trajectory for. Um, this wasn't something that I really planned for. I didn't, you know, growing up and stuff, like I've been in fashion all my life, thanks to my mother, but I never really knew what I wanted to do. But I knew that I wanted to be involved with clothing and to some degree. So I was given the name David and Goliath just through studying the Bible. It is biblical and it is intentional in that way. And David and Goliath is my favorite clothing brand. I mean, my favorite, it is my favorite clothing brand, but David and Goliath is my favorite story in the Bible. Um, we'll get into that a, a bit more later. But yeah, it was given to me organically through just reading the word and, and studying it a bit. And once God put that on my heart, I knew that I wanted to attack it. Like it was something that I'd become so excited about without even knowing what it was going to be. Like I had the name and I knew that it was going to be a clothing brand, but I didn't do anything with it for years. So David and Goliath is here first and foremost as a clothing brand, but our goal is to exist within a space that doesn't already exist. So yes, clothing in itself exists already, brands exist already, the industry exists already, but we're designed to occupy a space that it does exist, but it's not, it's not the focus, you know? Um, and with that being said, tying in spirituality and art into clothing. You know, one of my biggest inspirations, Jerry Lorenzo, I think that he's doing an amazing job at doing so and tying in his faith with his with his body of work. But he's just come out and period point blank said that, you know, like fear of God isn't a Christian clothing line. I can't say that this is a Christian clothing line either. You know, it's not geared to only Christians. It's not geared to only people that believe in Jesus. Um, but that is at the heart of what I do and what we do as a brand. I think that the biggest reason for creating this brand was just an act of obedience um, and me surrendering my will to God and being like, you know, you put this on my heart and I am going to be intentional about taking that direction and, and doing exactly what you're calling me to do. And that's why the brand has become so important to me and something that uh, I want to do with excellence amongst all avenues, you know, at the start, at the, at the middle, at the end, everything that we want to do, we want to operate through excellence so that, you know, when I look back on this 10 years later, five years later, you know, I'm happy with the product myself. And then I also feel as though I did God justice because what he's given me isn't mine to begin with. I'll get a little bit more into the brand and the foundations of it. I built the collection in Utah alongside a brother of mine, Jacob Bottles. So a lot of people may not know this, but I didn't do this all on my own. I did have some help. I wish Jacob was here to kind of talk through the brand with me, um, but he lives on the opposite side of the country. He's in Boise, Idaho. We met uh, on Instagram, you know, as cringy as that may sound, but that's kind of, you know, where life takes us right now. And there's beauty within that. Uh, you know, there's, there's no way that we would have ever come across each other if it weren't for the app, so I am grateful for that. Um, but uh, I was working on a project in Utah, and we had just been kind of talking and built a, relation, a relationship previously. And uh, we knew that we wanted to, you know, kind of meet and formulate a relationship. And, you know, I had my ideas about brand, you know, about building a brand. He's artistic, and we were just trying to figure out how we could mend both worlds. We took the initiative and, and took the time to actually grow and, and meet one another and spend some time together and you know build a brothership. And within that, we've built something extremely beautiful, so intentional and so filled with the grace of God that it's literally brought me to tears you know, um, at times talking about it um, and even throughout the process. But yeah, Jacob and I 
Uh, we built this brand with an idea that we wanted to do something sustainable, but do it in a way that would incorporate our love of God and, and make it cool. You know, like people's idea of Christians are very square and boxed in. I think that it's opening up a bit more now, thanks to a lot of really dope pastors out there and people like Jerry Lorenzo, people like myself, um, that are just, you know, being more upfront about their faith and making uh, it known that like being a Christian or believing in Jesus is like really cool. Like there's a really cool aspect to it. But that was like the goal with the collection, you know, we wanted to put out something that was true to ourselves, true to our faith and our beliefs. and. Uh, and true to the direction and with, and with which we wanted to go. And we also just wanted to fill holes and gaps, you know, like, yes, there's tons of Carhartt in the world. Yes, there's tons of painted Carhartt in the world, but we wanted to put a spin on it that would separate it from, you know, what everyone else is doing. Jacob at the time was um, thrifting a lot. Uh, I myself as well, but he was really like intentional about thrifting, you know, Carhartt, you know, really cool old t-shirts old Levi's, uh, Dickies, you know, things of that nature under his brand Carhartt and Camo. Um, so I saw what he was doing and the pieces that he was finding and I was really intrigued. And I was like, it'd be really cool. You know, I, I already paint on, painted on my own clothes um, and he himself is an artist. He uses canvases though, mostly not as much clothes, but my canvas was my clothes at the time. Like, you know, if anyone that knows me personally knows that probably eight times out of 10, I'm gonna have some, you know, my clothes are gonna have some sort of paint on them. That's just what it is. Uh, but, you know, I saw what he was doing with, you know, his vintage collection and his direction and his eye. And I was really intrigued by it. Um, and I thought that we could kind of come together and formulate something really cool. So as we began to idealize and as we began to kind of put together a picture of what that looked like, uh, we decided that we wanted to focus on, you know, vintage Jesus t-shirts, um, vintage Carhartt, and, and then we began to, as we were diving into our ideas and how we could direct this back to God's word, it became so evident and so easy, you know, to see that like, you know, for those of you that don't know, like Jesus was a carpenter. Like he didn't start really professing the gospel and walking in his purpose until he was 33, which might sound crazy. Like Jesus, he's the son of God. Like, wasn't he just doing this all his life? Like. Yeah, he was walking within his purpose during his entire life, but he didn't start changing lives until he was 33. And so with that being said, like before came about, you know, his father was a carpenter. So him and his father were doing carpentry work and that was not his focus, but you know, that was kind of his upbringing. Um, so Carhartt being a carpenter's brand, like it clicked and I was like, oh shoot, like that's our direction. Like that's how we tie it back to God. And then even more personally, um, you know, me wanting to define like why we use paint you know so that it wasn't something that people could easily tie into oh they're they are attaching themselves to a fad or like what's popular like, like we can be honest right now carhartt is super popular you know i think it's a blessing that we were able to put out a collection of full carhartt during a time that it's popular because i think that people are more willing to buy it um but you know still we we didn't want to box ourselves in and get put in a, in a category of, you know, following trends. Um, so as I kind of took a deep dive into my life and realizing my influences um, and why I love to put paint on my clothes so much, even before it was popular, um, I really thought about, you know, my dad and the influence that he's had over my life. He was a, a firefighter by profession, but by trade he was painting, like he'd be painting our house you know, standing on our porch, painting the walls inside our house. He's painted every single wall, except maybe like three or four in our home. He's done, he's painted, you know, offices for other people. He's painted church buildings, like, but seeing him come home sometimes with paint in his hair or like paint on his clothes, paint on his hands, like that instilled something in me that, I, and I didn't realize it until I really took a deep dive into myself and allowed myself to hear from God in that way. And I realized that like, you know, he had a lot more influence over my life than I thought. Um, my dad and I are super close, but a lot of people who know me know that like a lot of who I am comes from my mom. Um, so for me to be able to tie my first collection into uh, a relationship that I really cherish with my father was uh, super important to me. So that's, you know, why, why we are what we are, you know, how we got here. And with the t-shirts, uh, you know, everybody, you know, the world doesn't need another t-shirt. 
but everybody loves a great t-shirt. Um, and uh, one thing that I began to find a love for was like Jesus t-shirts. Growing up, my mom would always get me like these Jesus is my homeboy t-shirts. Like I had a belt buckle that said Jesus is my homeboy. Super corny, kind of cool, <laughs> um, a little mix of the both. Uh, but you know, we wanted to, Jacob and I really wanted to incorporate Jesus t-shirts into the collection and that be our base model. Um, so, you know, that just goes without saying like why we chose Jesus t-shirts. Like that was a more direct tie back into Jesus and why, you know, and the importance of Jesus within our first collection. Like I said, we built a collection together, Jacob and I. Um, I was in Utah, he was in Idaho. So they were five hours apart driving. Um, so as many weekends as we could, uh, we would spend time with one another. I'd go to him, he'd come to me. Um, but it was, it was kind of difficult, you know, like Jacob is a youth pastor. So a lot of his weekends are filled with, you know, Sunday services or things that he has to do throughout the week um, to prepare for Sunday and, you know, other activities and retreats and stuff that him and his church have going on. And for me, you know, I, I work in the film industry. so. My weekends is really all the time that I get. Like Monday through Friday, I'm, with, I'm working like crazy hours. So Saturday and Sunday are the only days that I get for myself. And a lot of those Saturdays and Sundays were built, um, were used to build this collection. But every piece is hand painted. You know, the color stories, I kind of came up with myself just based on colors that, I, that you know, are complementary to each other. Not, you know, some piece, pieces, you know, use every color in the rainbow. Other pieces are very strategic and only use a few colors. Yeah, I'm a big fan of color and adding color to things, you know, like even the pants that I have on right now. Uh, so that was a big reason on how we wanted to make David and Goliath stand out. Um, but everything's hand painted between both Jacob and I. I did a majority of the, of the hand painting in, in regards to like the bodies. But what Jacob would do was come in and like add, I don't even know if you guys can see this, but he would add in little subtle like meanings, like this has like a few crosses on them and like this one has from death to life on the side. Like, so he would put in these like little nuances um, of faith and, you know, phrases that tie back into, you know, what it means to be a believer in Christ. And I thought that, that was really beautiful and I wanted, and that's how I really wanted him to be a part of the collection. Like, I could have done this all myself, but I didn't want to. I really prayed for an ax for a partner in this, um, and he gave it to me in the most beautiful way possible. So yeah, every piece from the jackets to the overalls to the t-shirts, everything features a little something um, on there, whether it's a cross or a saying or a phrase, and all that was hand painted by Jacob. He came up with the logo. Jacob is really good with graphic art, so he came up with that. Um, oh, and also the back print as well. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of how we did it. Um, it was a lot of work going back and forth, uh, sometimes a bit frustrating because, you know, there were times where I would really want to get something done, but he couldn't come to me or I couldn't come to him. So, you know, we, we faced our own trials and tribulations, but it was a fun project. You know, it took us about maybe four to six months to handpick everything. You know, everything was intentional, sizing, you know, the, the pants that we chose, because they are all vintage, so they're all worn in. Like, we didn't do any distressing ourselves. Everything, you know, already has its own holes in it, its own, you know, distressing and tears on the sleeves and on the hems of the pants. Like, all that came as it was. Um, and that also kind of ties into, like, you know, what we're trying to profess uh, as believers is that, you know, God wants us to come to Him as we are. Um, so we wanted to just leave everything as it was in its original form. And then, yeah, just kind of not cover it, but work with it and work around it. And, you know, a lot of that is what God does with us. You know, he takes what he takes, what we have and he works with it. He actually likes to work with it. You know, it's not a burden for him to take us at our weakest and our most broken and our most vulnerable moments and um, and start to change and transform us. You know, that's what he did with me, if I can be honest. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about the collection a bit, um, give you guys some insight. If there are any extra questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. I'm sure this will be a question when our second collection will be dropping. I won't say when. I do know when I'd like to drop, but I'm not gonna give that information out publicly. 
because um, everything is divine within God's timing. But uh, just know it is being worked on. Uh, the ideas are flowing. Uh, we're moving in that direction and we're really excited about presenting you guys with something new soon, sooner rather than later. Um, but as of right now, everything that you guys see here is available for purchase still. A lot of our t-shirts have sold out. We had 20 total. I think there's like six or seven there now. Um, pants, lots of jackets left, a few overalls. So, you know, check out our website as soon as you guys can. I know that the times right now are forcing people to keep everything to themselves. You know, they're putting their hands in their pockets and not pulling them out until <laughs> You know, until there's some insight on when this whole corona thing will be over. But, you know, I encourage you guys, if you're feeling prepared, propelled to do so, to go ahead and make a purchase and we'll be sure to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm so blessed and honored to have this opportunity to present you guys with something that's so near and dear to my heart. Um, and I appreciate your support and look out for Collection 2. Talk to you guys soon.